Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. This episode, we're going to be talking about the latest news in the world of Hero Clicks. That includes the full set list of Empire being spoiled and a ton of information about quote unquote Set 47, aka the Marvel Studios Disney Plus set. This is episode 385. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how many six yeah. people think I am funny? It's a hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which absolute fools. It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Google, the back somebody. Let's attack him because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I even said this in the intro, but I'm your sexy ranch and co host, Calder Ness. Joining me, like always, in the studio is your Dial H for Hero Clicks champion, the Billion Clicks Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? Ooh, yeah. So, uh, it's been a hot minute since we recorded. We pre-recorded because I was yes. getting on a jet plane um, and didn't know when I'd be back again. And uh, funny enough, Calder was like, hope you don't crash. And then on the way back, I experienced the most turbulence I've ever felt Ooh. inside of an airplane. And I was like, you know, I'm okay if this plane explodes midair because at least Calder will be like, wow, I called it. Am I a magician? <laughs> what it's going like? I was like, I'll, I might be able to haunt Calder. I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly happens after you explode midair in a plane. But at the very least, we'd have like audio recording of it. Because the episode hadn't been up at that point yet either. Um, oh, oh, I don't man. remember what day I flew back. Would have been it would have been Monday. So yeah, the episode I guess was up. That night. It was probably up like that's probably what did it. I think the the episode went up when I got on the plane and uh yeah, air traffic control was like, Hey, have you heard this dial H <laughs> crashes plane? <laughs> just you sent it straight. No straight drink card for you. That's too dangerous. No little no little almonds, no little cookie graham cracker thing. You get yeah. nothing. You get death, you get airplane death. All right. Um well, Simeon, uh, tell us about your trip and what made you happy this week. Yeah, so I preemptively said it was going to make me happy. It did. Um, did not swim at all this summer. But you know what? October in Arizona is <laughs> warm enough to swim every day. So I did that. Uh, I swam. I, I went to places I'd never been, saw things I've never seen, uh, experienced weather that was pleasant, which kind of fits into things i've never seen or experienced uh i've never experienced like an 80 degree day where i did not sweat at all and it was like wild it was like i don't know if you ever had this did you ever have like your mom or dad when you were a real small kid throw your towel into a dryer so when you got out of like the shower or bath you had like this nice warm towel and you're just like ooh, so cozy that kind of feeling that's just like arizona temperature it's like dry oh, and okay. warm and it like hugs you like a little blanket. Now like all the uh let's say uh, how do I, how do I say this? Uh the population of Arizona is not that great. <laughs> Whoa. But the temperature. Whoa. The temperature and uh, the the view was really nice. So yeah. Um okay, Simeon. No, they, Simeon okay. They drive like they drive like Ma Mad Max has already happened. Like it's Australia oh, nice. and the oceans have dried up and they're like, need to get to gas town. That's how everyone in Arizona was driving constantly. They're like three lanes at once. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Look at the chrome. And then like they do a U-turn all of a sudden. And you're just like, wow, that was nuts. And that was it. just the Uber that I took. I love it. Dude, I love it. Oh, man. We had a wild Uber when we went to Florida earlier this year. I won't get into it, but it was it was wacky. Uh, 
All right. No, I'm really happy that you had a, a mostly safe trip. Uh, you know, made it back in one piece from Arizona. That is really awesome, my man. And uh, I'm glad you went swimming because I know you said like every backyard in Arizona had a in-ground pool. So Ooh, yeah, I do that reminds that. me uh, driving through a random neighborhood. There was not only a backyard pool, I imagine, <laughs> but a backyard um, haunted house because what? they just had like this random um they had like random plywood set up into like you know if you were gonna like if you weren't a carpenter but you're like i'm gonna build my son a shed by golly and you just started nailing plywood together and then threw a tarp over it and then put up a big plywood sign that said haunted house like spray painted on it with an arrow (laughs) that's what it looked like except i was like hmm i wonder if anyone comes out of there because i kind of doubt it it's a random like literally a random neighborhood it was inside of like yeah, a dude, neighborhood I believe like it. A, yeah hey uh it is the season after all uh what made me <laughs> happy this week guys uh i know i think it's great that's beautifully fitting for not only arizona but for Halloween. Terrible. but what made me happy this week was uh, a lot of community theater involvement uh from my end i decided to try out for my first musical since 2018 this is elf the musical um trust me i am not gonna get buddy the elf but it made me uh, stretch my my talents and singing and whatnot. So I did uh, What a Beautiful Morning from Oklahoma as my song. And then uh, I originally planned, they wanted a comedic monologue. I originally planned to do a Tallahassee's monologue about the Twinkie from Zombieland. Uh, but I ended up giving that to somebody else because they, they chose a monologue. I was like a little rough and they didn't really have it memorized. So I was like, here, ch- this one's short. Uh, so then I switched my monologue to a overly dramatic reading of the intro to a Christmas Carol. Cause like Christmas Carol is like not, it's not a funny like movie or book or whatever. No. So I was like, Charles Dickens work wasn't. N- no, it's not, it's not exactly, <laughs> it's you know, the, the best. It, he didn't exactly focus on the best of times. It was certainly no. a worst of times type dude. Um, so like I, I made that kind of funny. And then, uh, I took a trip with some friends and we went to opposing college SDSU. They did Carrie the musical. I did not know that Carrie had a musical. Second, I'd never seen Carrie before. Not going to lie. Stephen King. I'm not. He's he's like Owen two right now. It. I did not like it. I did not like Carrie. Like fundamentally, like as a story, I didn't like Carrie. Um, There was also character choices I wasn't a fan of. Twist was like neat. But like there were some cliches in it, and I was just like not I was not vibing. But however, the kids, the college kids, the actors and actresses, Carrie could sing like crazy well. Carrie's mother could sing even better than her. They're um, all going then, to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh. Was that a song? That has to be a song. Uh, no, it, she like she had some other like song like talking about some like blood curse some weird i was just okay. like yeah, you are whack for real lady which is like that's <laughs> again another like yeah. trope i do not care for in like media that's all over the place which is like okay whatever let's get over it um same thing with like just high school drama like it was not it's definitely not a horror movie that fits like my like take on horror that i think like makes a horror movie interesting it was like evil matilda and i'm like okay it wasn't she wasn't evil carrie wasn't evil she was well, to, to be fair ever um uh it's that not book, interesting. That book came out in like 1974. So, oh, okay. So, it's like it might have it might have almost beat the 50 years maybe, old. It's yeah, it was probably more of like the trend setting that. kind of thing. Yeah, trend setting than following. Yeah. But I'll, but yeah, in retrospect, I'll, I'll I can imagine it's. Um, but overall, like, um, yeah, kind of boring to watch someone get bullied and then snap at the end. <laughs> not like even then, like as like fundamentally, like as an idea of a thing, it's like, oh yeah, she gets bullied for an hour and a half, and then you know. The end happens, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, I, I'd never seen the movie. I'd never read the book. I knew, like, she gets covered in blood, and, like, that was it. I honestly did not know she had spoilers for Carrie. I didn't know she had, like, telekinesis. Yeah, once again, uh, almost I, 50-year-old book. So. Yeah, also that. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> it's been yeah, made into like, two movies and apparently a musical. I, yeah, apparently a musical. But no, the uh, I know I'm going way over time here, but the actors and actresses, I, I just want to focus that really quickly. The singing talents... And then the acting talent that I saw made me interested in the plot more so than the plot itself because they were genuinely good. That's fair um, you can't yeah. say that about a lot of like 
local theater, community theater, even college level theater, because some of it's kind of bad. You know, some of those students who are like, yeah, I'm going to go be a theater major. Sometimes they just kind of suck. You know, and that's that's why they're going to school for it, um, whatever. But they, they did a great job. It was I was like mad props. They did a great job. Um, set was lame. Set was was like they did the whole white cutouts and they would project things onto those cutouts and then there was like some quote unquote set pieces uh but the main set pretty lame um the like secondary sets when they would like wheel them in off stage solid those were those were good but craftsmanship it was it was a little give and take a little give and take but anyways that is what made, it did make me happy like i know people are gonna get mad at me for whatever but i did think like genuinely that was some great acting that i saw this week so well, if, if yes. stephen king isn't your favorite um you should try somebody, a horror icon, I would say, in like the same realm. Uh, Richard Bachman is a good... Richard uh, Bachman. Yeah. What is, What has he done? So I like... Um, I think last Halloween I watched Psycho for the first time. And I actually did like Psycho. And I liked the twist of Psycho at the end. Um, but it was... Stephen King's things are just like more... I don't know I don't know how to say it. Dark and depressing. Like I get it that it's, it is horror. But like I... To me, I like, you know, Evil Dead... Friday the 13th, Freddy Krueger, that wacky, um, campy horror. That's the stuff I enjoy. And, and Stefan, I'm just, I'm not vibing with it. I haven't seen The Shining yet. I'm definitely going to plan on seeing The Shining. Uh, I think that's maybe better, I hope. Um, mostly because I want to watch Doctor Sleep, because that's got Obi-Wan yeah, Kenobi sure. in it. Because, um, you know, my man Ewan McGregor. I don't uh, know how important uh, The Shining is to Doctor Sleep, but... Um... Might as well watch if it. In you, order, yeah, if you're gonna, yeah, it's yeah. I mean, Shining it's a good is movie. To be, it's a classic, right? Like Shining is like supposed to be like a classic. Yeah, you know. The thing to so. keep in mind with like those older classics is that, um, because the, like the, the Shining, especially, so much pop culture pulls from that older media, those like big movies that you've probably already seen in some fashion everything that happens in The Shining and other media other like movies or TV shows or whatever, uh, because it like inspires so much more stuff after it's been made. Um, you, you'll probably be watching the shining and be like, Oh, they're doing this thing again. Like, like tropes. I wouldn't say that the shining started any tropes, but there's definitely been ones that have like been beaten into the they ground. Pull inspiration of, from it or yeah, something. Yeah. Nah. Like um, creepy anyway. little kids. That's sure. I mean, the shining is, that, is yeah. what like it's it's creepy kids. It's uh, here's Johnny. It's all work. No play makes whatever a dull boy, all that jazz. Like, I, I know some things I know are exclusively him in the end in up to his head in snow, like the, the red Kool-Aid coming out of the elevators, whatever else, uh, all that jazz. Like, yeah, I know that's all, but I like I know those things. Stanley are from Kubrick the faked the moon landing, you know, all those yeah, all those things normal like things. Anyways, guys, we have HeroClix news. Who? That was a rough segue, but we're going with it, ladies and gentlemen. Simeon, we got the full set list of Empire. We also got to see some starter set figures from Empire. Let's just go ahead and discuss what we think of this full set list for Empire. Does this ramp up the hype train? Does it slow down the hype train? Uh, but can you do you want to rapid fire uh, go through whatever yeah. and then do your so, best to be like, this is probably where the uncommon start. Yeah. I think we can sort of gauge that. Uh, well, it should be um, like 16, like, something like that. Um, but oh, that's true. Yeah, we actually um, have that knowledge. Yeah, I'll just so I'll do rapid fire. Might mention a few things. Zero zero one is Hulkling, which makes sense because Hulkling is like integral to the Empire storyline. Zero zero two is Scroll Spy. Three is Kree Soldier. Four is Captain Marvel with the Accuser Hammer. Five is Zavin. Uh, six is Fantastic Four suit Spider Man. Seven is Fantastic Four suit Wolverine. Um, Eight is Human Torch, and then nine is you don't, kind of you don't out have of the number. Field. You don't have the number of them all, Simeon. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's yeah. well. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say uh, uh, kind of out. Sorry. I was out of left field. I Sorry, did not expect yeah. to see a white suit storm. I mean, mm -hmm. definitely welcome. But then suddenly we have like a very X Men trend uh, because then we've got Jean Grey, Beast, and Rogue 
all in like fairly classical kind of like looking poses and stuff. Then we get the thing. We get a very strong looking she th- she Hulk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's muscular. <laughs> yeah. We get a Nomi, sick. which I have no idea who that is. Uh, we get a scroll black bolt, uh, which I believe scroll black bolt is 16. So that should be the end of the commons. And then we go on to a clear ish invisible woman. We get the golden oldie, which is uh, apparently aunt may from earth. <laughs> yeah. uh, eight, two, one, four, seven or something a, weird. A galactic Herald or Galactus Herald. Yeah. Or I don't know. Uh, yeah. we get rocket raccoon in a, a slick looking white suit. We've already seen, uh, game trade magazine had that we get a cyclops screaming at the sky shooting little eyeball beams uh wiccan in like battle pose whoever brawn is i want to say from the image it looks scroll skin colored but it could be yeah. pretty hard to say but i'm gonna go ahead and say scroll uh we get raxor which looks like another named scroll that i do not know uh dazzler in a suit that I've never seen Dazzler in before. We get Iron Man in probably the weirdest Iron Man pose we've got. Yeah. It's like one knee down, hands. I, I don't even know how to describe this. Uh so it's palms facing backwards, but like at hip level while taking a knee. This is it's like not quite a crouch, but it's I don't know. It's very strange. And it's not quite his like superhero pose. No, it's not like it it has to be a specific comic panel that they're recreating. I have to believe that because there's no way it's anything else. Uh, But equally strange is strange hipster college boy Loki resting one foot on a fire hydrant. I don't know where this comes from, but um, very interesting Loki pose. The, the one foot on a fire hydrant's very strange to me. He a just quirky seems... little emo boy. Yes. He's like, <laughs> I think that's what it is. <laughs> hey, anyone want to go listen to some Ben's Fold Fives or some Neutral Milk Hotels? Uh, by the way, eggs are meat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> next up is Aunt May. Or sorry, <laughs> Agent, <laughs> Agent May. So Sorry, this is Agent May comes right below Golden Oldie. So Agent May doing a classic, uh, whatever kick. Yeah, doing a little I don't know, martial roundhouse kick, kick. Little side kick. Uh, we get Wasp, kick. Uh, classic looking Quicksilver, classic looking Daredevil, uh, Venom Cyclops. Which Ooh. this might be the rares. Let's see, uh, two, four, six. I eight, think this is 10, the rares. Twelve. 14 uh it's gonna be close but yeah venom cyclops okay. it'd be crazy if venom cyclops was not rare but uh cool looking sculpt anyhow we've got a ghost rider and this is um gosh not blaze this is the newer one danny not catch um uh, robbie reyes robbie reyes yeah sorry oh, yeah, i yeah. do not know why i can never remember his name but it looks to be robbie reyes we get bell dan which is a cree Named Cree, we get a Jubilee shooting the uh, firework sparklers. We get Taskmaster. We've already seen this sculpt from the starter. But master of Tasks. Is, yeah, this is the Master of Tasks in the set. Princess Veronke. I'm pretty sure we already saw this sculpt, but yeah. Um, we get Requiem. Mm. And then also Gamora. So that is the prime. Gamora apparently is the prime of Requiem, whoever that okay. may be. Uh, this is definitely like, the rares now for sure right because yeah, there, only, there are yeah. no primes outside of the rares and super rares so we should have a second um and then we've got kitty pride coming through what looks like a portal instead of like a normal wall or something like that yeah we've got sunspot doing a little flyby action uh colossus we already saw this one colossus holding the soul sword um Monica Rambeau Photon doing a little flyby action. We've got Madam Hydra, Scarlet Witch, and then we get into, I believe, the super rares. So I'm not sure where the We can't. Other... We're not super rares yet because, oh. remember, there's two primes. There's got to be two so... primes. Oh, so it's got to be Black Panther is where. So after that, then okay. I assume we get super rares. So yeah. this Deadpool, Sorry, of course, is ahead. the one that we saw holding Jeff up with his crown. Um and then we get Human Torch. That's got to be like, Jim. 
Yeah. Got to be Jim Hammond. It's got like, I hope a it's a good Jim Hammond suit looking thing. Yeah. Uh, Venom Marvel Girl, which is more of like Venom Phoenix. Then we get Black Panther with no mask. And then T'Chaka 2. Don't know who T'Chaka 2 is. Yeah. But interesting choice nonetheless. Uh, we get Magneto. Roland, which is R- the Roland. X-Men I'm going to call him Roland. <laughs> Roland. Dude, we got Roland. <laughs> yeah. We get uh, a. So now we're in Super Rares, rare I rares, believe. Definitely. Close to. Hulkling, we know, is a Super Rare. Right. So uh, we get the Super Rare version of Hulkling uh, Captain America, Wolverine, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Ultron. Then the Prime Ultron Pym, and we saw From that three out of Secret the six. Empire. Yeah, three out of the six um, tokens from the Dyson Token Pack are Ultron drones. So uh, we get Venom Ice Man. Man, I mm. Venom Ice Man to me seems as silly as like Venom Banshee. Well, Venom I don't, like Marvel Girl is actually because like yeah. fire though. I don't know, man. It just seems weird. It seems like no, it the symbiote would not make that character better. But anyhow, then we get Quinoa. Um, we get Infamous Iron Man. We get Star Lord, <laughs> Super Scroll. We get so, Marvel. So this Star Lord. Sorry, before we go on, this is uh, Kitty Pride of Star Lord, I believe. Oh, okay. Because um, it's got that makes sense. Okay, because he's coming through the wall from the wall. Yeah, I think so. Anyways. Because, like, otherwise, why would we have Star-Lord popping out of a wall or even with a wall in his... I think this is Kitty Pride as Star-Lord. Um, sorry, keep going. No, that makes way more sense than just being Peter Quill walking through yeah. like, a weird portal. Uh, so the last super rare prime is Marvel and then Captain Marvel. Um, so one will probably be, like, more Kree-focused and then the other will be, like, the Avengers version. Uh, then we get Mr. Fantastic, Venom Rogue, and I think Mr. Fantastic might be the last super rare because we had 11 chases. Is that right? Two, four, six, I'm looking that up right eight, now. It looks like a lot. 10, 12. I think it's got to be. It's either 12 or Venom Rogue is the last super rare. Venom Rogue is definitely a super rare. I know that because they pulled her out at Gen Con. So we, okay. If then in that case, yeah, we have 11 chases after Venom Rogue. So we've got, um, Thor. It is 11 chase figures. Sorry. I just looked it up. It is 11 chase figures. Wow. That is. Yeah. Because we were, it was weird Ah. because the set list was like, are they going to make half the chases Venoms? Because they haven't really spent, Bred venoms throughout like the rarities like they did this time around like venom cyclops is potentially an uncommon but i mean even just being a rare like we haven't seen a ton of stuff like that um, when it's not like a a spider-man centric theme it looks like yeah venom cyclops it looks like jubilee ends the uncommons sorry i'm finally looking at the dial and evidence thread this guy did all the math and everything so okay uh, big respect to hujibo uh, except for the fact that he didn't have uh, us listed as a source because we did get that up <laughs> on the internet before anybody else did. But besides that, he is doing a good job on the whatever. Sorry, so keep this going is a really again. cool looking Thor. He's got the two Ravens. He's got a ton of effects going on. Um, just looks really impressive. Uh, then sadly, next to him is Deadpool on a surfboard catching some cosmic wave stuff. Um, Assuming that's Deadpool, Herald of Black. Yeah. Probably sure. Herald of Squirrel Girl, for all I know. Uh, then we've okay. got Demon okay. in Armor, which kind of like half this chase theme, or at least a third of it, seems to be um, like Sorcerer Supreme kind of based. So Demon in, in Armor looks like Iron Man in like a more of a Doom outfit, but yeah. he's doing like some Doctor Strange kind of stuff with the hands. So. Who knows? Then we get that Thanos that we have. We had uh, the sculpt yeah. shown where he's got Captain the gauntlet America. and the Captain America shield and outfit. We get Beast in the classic Baron Mordo and Stephen Strange pose. Um, almost like lifted that exact pose out of ABPI. We get Norn yeah. Rad, the silver surfer on a surfboard, also doing that pose with a cape. So that's like our third magician type person in this uh chase 
theme. Then we yeah. get Venom Wolverine, which is X-23, Laura Kinney. We get Venom Magneto, which is Eric Mag... I don't know what his last name is anymore. They've changed it too many times. We get the Sentry uh, as a Horseman of the Apocalypse Sentry, I guess. He's like covered yeah. in flames, though. It's very strange. Dude, I am not very... Aware Horseman of, of death is what is what they say on the HC Realms thread. Oh, sure, sure. Because that Why Hulk not? is whatever war, probably. Yeah, war. Uh, yeah. So then we we get the Hulk, the Hulk Horseman of the Apocalypse uh, with his weird little whip and sword. Uh, we've actually had that Hulk clicks before, but yeah, he's coming back as a chase. And then we get Ricky Barnes. I don't yeah, know who that this, is. Uh, uh, so Ricky Barnes. If it's the version of it, I think it is. Uh, it's after the Winter Soldier run of Captain America. The story, whatever the... I don't know who did this run. Some comic book writer somewhere. Um, some artist did it. And whatever. Anyways, the main story was like evil Captain America from the 50s was back. And he was going to blow up the Hoover Dam. That was like the main story in it. With like Falcon and Steve Rogers like working on this. But then in every issue of that run, there was also a little small, like three, four page story at the end about Ricky Barnes. Um, it was like her and like Spider Girl or some version of like Spider Girl, I think, were like doing stuff. And it was like alternate universe, I believe, version of obviously Bucky's kid. I don't know if it was Ultimates or what it was, but like that was like in like if you look at any of the issues from that time, there'll be a little circle. And it's like also in this issue, Bucky or like whatever. So I think that's what Ricky Barnes is from. I don't know. She might be somebody else. Um, Nomad's kid is named Bucky, and it's Bucky Monroe because it's Nomad's kid. But that was a quote unquote Bucky Barnes like sidekick. But it's not Ricky. I think Ricky is from this Captain America run I'm thinking of. She's basically just uh, she got some gadgets. That's kind of like she's got some like some neat little gadgets. Um, there was also a version of it. Like, there's also like I think maybe a run that had Ricky Barnes in it from the '90s, where she was like the Captain America. I I don't know. Like some of that stuff that came out in the '90s, kind of like the whole um the run. Who's the Rob Liefeld? Like that's like not canon, you know. Oh, so like some of that yeah. like stuff that came out was like just not canon garbage, whatever stuff going on, you know. So I don't know. Um, but those are the two places I think Ricky Barnes would be from. But thank you, WizKids, for making me have to get two chases from this set and a super <laughs> rare. Um, and I'm going to be with you. The When I first glanced at the set list, and even before when we started the show, Simeon, I was like, this kind of kills my enthusiasm for the set. I will say one thing, though. It does give me a ton of hype for Sealed. I think this is going to be a really fun Sealed set. I'm definitely going to pick yeah. up a brick. Like, no matter what, I'm getting a brick. Because um, I do want the scrolls, because I like scrolls as a keyword. They're making it so much better now. Um, you know, Secret Empire was a terrible storyline, but I do want Ultron Pym, um, Human Torch, Captain America, like all that stuff. Like there is enough stuff in the set for me to definitely get a brick. If they do some kind of buy it by the case incentive, then I'll probably get two cases of this set. That yeah. That is basically what would be it. But that is, I think it's a solid set list. I think it's really unique. I think it's one of the most unique set lists we've had in a while. Personally, too many X Men, you know, like that's where it I'm is at a in the strange world. amount of just normal X Men. But yeah. to be fair, Beast, Wolverine, um, at times like Rogue, they've all been like Avengers or on like other teams. So it kind of makes sense that they're there. Um, yeah, it is, it is just kind of a like the random inclusion of Agent May. Without, I don't get that. I don't like I I know that I they read were brought to the comics, but I'm like, man, wouldn't if she was in the comics, wouldn't the uh, I don't know, wouldn't the other like agents of shield, like the other I can't remember their names now, uh goofy kid that makes the monkey and oh, you mean uh uh Fitz. Fitz, yeah. Fitz and Simmons, yeah, yeah those two. Fitz and um, Simmons. Wouldn't they be like in the same? I don't know. Story. I don't know why May is here. Least. No Colson. No Daisy. No Fitzsimmons. No Ward. But just May. May's here. But yeah. yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know, Simeon. What are you? What are you most hyped for? I kind of said the stuff I was so, most hyped for. What are you? What are you looking at here? Uh, it's hard because it has a strong. It's probably one of like the stronger common and uncommon set lists that I've seen. Um, 
like pulling an uncommon venom cyclops or ghost rider would be real cool uh and i want to say that the rares are probably the least interesting part of this but that being said you could pull human torch or venom marvel girl or let's see like deadpool pulling deadpool would be really cool there's there's like a handful of like the rares that are actually like really cool sculpts really cool pieces i'll have to see the dials a little bit to like make sure but it looks like one of those sets where i mostly want the chases and super rares and it's weird because i'm not going to be upset with the common uncommon and rares that i get from the looks of it like if i get one of each i'll be happy with them there is not a ton of generics to be had uh there might be some low pointed stuff who knows but there's not a ton of generics it looks like i'll be able to kind of pick and choose what i want but man, I really want that Sentry to be really good. I really want that Thor to be really good because it looks awesome. Um, yeah, there's just like so much in this set that I want to be like really good. And then again, there's just like random Venom chases and stuff that I do not care for that I'll be able to pass. Yeah. So I'm fine with it. Uh, I don't think this has changed how much of the set that I'm going to get. But yeah, it's it definitely changed my outlook as far as um, I thought there was going to be way more generics. And I thought like the, the rare section might be more finished out that I actually really yeah. want some of the rares, not saying that I don't want some of these rares, but it's not going to be like a, I have to buy a full brick to get like, every, you know, I have to buy a full case to get all the rares that I want. Um, the chases. <laughs> I don't think there's nearly that many chases. <laughs> the, Play at yeah. home kit Wolverine <clears throat> is the main like Wolverine, the blue and yellow. And then uh, yeah, uh, like, yeah. The starters gonna be Spider Man. We already saw the starter stuff. Um <clears throat> yeah. in our Discord we have all the dials. Uh but uh, there's Fantastic Four Spider Man, <clears throat> Fantastic Four Wolverine, Captain Marvel, Rogue. Invisible Woman, that's not clear. Human Torch, Taskmaster, Whoa. Magneto, Madam Hydra, and Super Scroll. Yeah. Uh, from those, I can't remember what I said. I think Taskmaster, Super Scroll, and like Human Torch were really the only ones that were super interesting. Um. Yeah, but I mean, they're just good. They're like solid sculpts. Solid starter. Oh yeah. 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 It's definitely Anyways. Yeah, solid. Next up in news, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we got an absolute bomb dropped on us just a couple hours ago about basically confirmation about set 47. Now, we pseudo confirmed it last week because we're some smart boys over here at Dial H for Heroclix. Um, but yes, uh, set 47 is going to be what looks to be a Marvel Disney Plus, like Marvel Studios Disney Plus set. Uh, I'm going to read off all the sculpts that we get to see first, and then we can go ahead and get into, to me, the most fun part, and that is the set distribution and pricing and everything. People are like, that sounds so lame, but no, it actually is really cool. The solicit is very interesting. Uh, we have a, a Locodile here um, wow. as its own figure. Croaky. Um, croaky, whatever. It's croaky. Uh, we get a Sam Wilson Captain America, no wings, kind of pumping a little fist there. Yeah. This Holden is like a, a uncommon, 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 if I ever saw one. Yeah. Uh, we get a Captain America shield object. Uh, this is clearly from the, uh, what's it called? Um, Falcon Winter Soldier, because it has that extra like line in the middle. That's yeah. just the style Interesting of the shield. thing is, it does not match the shield that Sam Wilson is holding in the previous sculpt. No, it doesn't, because it doesn't it's have that little line. Different. It is weird. And it's different blue. Anyways, um, people are saying like, oh, it should give out leadership. No, it shouldn't. The, the shield does not give Captain America the leadership. The shield, Captain America inspires people. Steve Rogers inspires people. It's not the shield. Uh, the shield should give maybe some invulnerability, maybe energy shield deflection, uh, maybe some cool way to bounce it. Like, I'd be really cool with something like that. That'd be really sweet. Like uh, some kind of like kind bouncing of yeah. style effect. Yeah, but better than the battering. The battering sucked. Um, and, and it... <laughs> destroyed itself you know like why would i equip it and then destroy it the first time i, I make it yeah um but yeah i do hope the shield is good but like once again also i called it uh hopefully we get a john walker that can attach the shield to sam wilson or whatever else uh in the set 
Next up, we get to see a Captain Carter, a little superhero landing, one leg down, shield hitting the ground, uh, main set Captain Carter. And then what's labeled as the starter set Captain Carter, where she is heroically uh, standing up, chest puffed out. Yeah, uh, this is like um, posterized, picture poster, yeah. kind of version. Um, weird we get two of them, and then slight, once again, guys, I will say some spoilers here for what if, even though Simeon hasn't seen it, because I'm a bad guy. Duh. So, uh, can I say that on my own? I will see me all fix it. Hey, kids, did you like how I fixed it with the belly, Elish, the famous singer? That's how I fixed it with that. Anyways, um, it's weird we're getting two Captain Carters and one isn't in her stealth suit. Um, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why we, why we would get two different total sculpts and then, like, we could literally do a repaint and we've not only not done a repaint, but we've made two different sculpts of the exact same character. Maybe WizKids didn't have that knowledge. That's okay, but it's strange to me. Next up, we get to see a Cloak of Levitation object. That's cool. So if we've seen What If, we know Doctor Strange uses the Cloak of Levitation. And we also know Spider-Man uh, uses it for a little bit as well. Um, and we also know the Cloak itself in like Marvel movies is kind of like its own entity and controls itself and does whatever. So maybe it could also be a bystander. That would be cool. Um, next up, we see a kind of standard uh, Doctor Strange then we get to see the starter Doctor Strange, which is the whole Guardians of the Multiverse. Uh, this is like Sorcerer Supreme Supreme Doctor Strange. I don't know like what to call him necessarily, but that is like his look. Then we get to see uh, Gamora. This is not full Thanos armor Gamora. This is just like kind of Gamora with some gold there. Um, but we didn't really see a Gamora episode of What If. So this is going to just kind of be probably a little Charge Bladesy girl. Oh, a baby. We get to see this beautiful, sexy, humongous boy, Hydra Stomper. I'm hyped for this guy. He looks so good. I don't like that he's standing on one leg. We get over it. Juggernauts have done this before, so he should be fine. But I'm all about this Hydra Stomper. Oh, it's, oh, it's hot. Ah, uh, that's hot. I really like it. I really, really like it. Uh, next up, we get to see a, a starter set Killmonger. Um, it just... You know what? I'm glad they did the uh, Killmonger look from the earlier part of that Killmonger episode because then this is just sort of like our Michael B. Jordan Killmonger that we never yeah. got hero quite. So that's in. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Then we get a TVA Loki in the stupidest tie and belt buckle I've ever seen yeah. in my entire life. Yikes. Yeah. This was probably, um, and to be honest, this was probably like the most boring that Loki series got. Um, was like when he was in this look instead of actually doing yeah. that. But yeah, like the whole series I, was super yeah. boring, but yeah. It's yeah, fine. No, I got you. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, what? I mean, this is when he was doing his lamest stuff, when he was just sort of chilling in the jacket, getting slapped around by people and like not being very like good, cool, or protagonisty at all. Um, that's kind of when he takes off the jacket, and, like rolls up his sleeves where he gets like the knife and whatever else where he kind of starts being more protagonist style like interesting loki um anyways we get to see starter set party thor pretty pretty generic <laughs> thor sculpt pretty boring uh it, the face is definitely looks more like the animated version i will say that for sure but yeah party thor is just sort of party thor uh hopefully we do get some fun flavor text but yeah uh then we get to see apocalypse uh black widow Pretty cool. Um, first time we've ever seen Black Widow's biceps and uh, upper forearms. So let's try to keep it uh, PG here, WizKids. <laughs> like, that's uh, that's quite a bit. Um, and we get to see her use those batons that are always with action figures and stuff, but she maybe uses for two seconds in any given movie. Uh, but she actually used it in those episodes. So that's cool. Just a little riot gear looking Black Widow. There's the Spider Man we mentioned uh, before, I believe. They have this label as the Play at Home Kit Spidey. Hopefully we get an also normal version of Spider-Man because we don't have a Tom Holland Spider-Man in Hero Clicks. So I would right. like a non-Cloak of Levitation Spider-Man. But well, and, at and, the very least, this is really um, cool. According to the solicitation, this is listed as Doctor Strange. So or it's Sorcerer Supreme or something along those lines. They oh, don't actually call weird. it Spider-Man, but okay. yeah. Interesting. Next we get to see the uh, T'Challa Star-Lord and fresh with that purple jacket and the little, little Black Panther uh, necklace deal. We get to see, this is probably going to be like a common, uncommon Scarlet Witch, but it is a uh, 
Scarlet Witch. She's sort of like doing like a hey, like a shrug. I don't know what this pose is where it's like, come at me, bro. Oh, or like, what? You're approaching me? Yeah. The Scarlet oh, Witch. The uh, chaos is, imbued witch. That's really? kind of how it, how it do be looking here. Yeah. Uh, it's very strange sculpt for a great digital yeah, rendering. She's of not face though. Yeah, there's a ton of detail that they're putting into these, and like we have these on our Facebook. Page. The grooves, you really should look at a few costume. of them because the amount of detail they're putting into these digital renderings, um, like the f- texture on her hand, probably won't show up in the actual sculpt not. because probably that is not. tiny. Uh, but yeah, they have like the digital render has like tiny little woven bits all over the Scarlet Witch. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, next up, we get a uh, starter set Watu, the Watcher. Um, looks cool. Looks cool. He's like uh, he's reaching out. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't inter intervene. Uh, let me guys see the dice. I kind of do like these dice though. Uh, we get red dice with silver uh, Watcher on them, with his eye kind of glowing. Looks kind of cable like. Uh, it does. But yeah, I'll allow it. Like looks cool. Uh, then we get to see kind of the sort of the big bad from What If. We get to see the Ultron with the Infinity Gems. Let's not get our hopes up, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, this is still Hero Clicks. If he, if you want him to do all the crazy stuff he did, like let's just remember what God Emperor Doom can do. All right, yeah. let's sort of keep that. Let's in just mind. remember he, the he the one time awesome. his kids made a extremely broken figure. Everyone had to say, "Who is this character? Yeah. When, when did when did Unimind show up? What is, what is he from? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So." uh yeah, for all we know, the most broken figure in the set is going to be Halloween Vision. And if it is, that would be awesome. I would allow yeah. it. That'd be great. <laughs> I love this. Chuck I love Taylor, Luchador. Taylor, Chuck Taylor yeah. uh, Vision. <laughs> I love this, dude. This is awesome. Um, Bucky Barnes, little karate chop metal arm Bucky Barnes here. Not, I will say this, not a great Sebastian Stan likeness. I think they no. did a great job on the Elizabeth <laughs> Olsen likeness. Sebastian Stan here is looking a little rough. Um, but yeah, an okay Bucky Barnes. Hopefully we get more. And then, oh, the goofiness, the the detail, the dirt, the cartoonish proportions, the starter set, uh, Colonel America. I don't care if he's technically Zombie Captain America. It, any version of Zombie Cap is Colonel America in my heart. This is beautiful. I like this. I like. Now this I like. Uh, I love this. This is dope. This looks freaking fire. I like it a lot. I like the the bent. He's walking on the the bridge of his foot, as opposed to the sole. He's God. He's goofy looking. Ah, oh, it's the dirt. I love it. Love the zombie Captain America. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and now we're gonna get into the solicits, ladies and gentlemen. Marvel Studios What If reimagines the MCU, assemble the Guardians of the Multiverse, and more in this Dyson token pack. Each token comes with art on both sides that represent characters from Marvel Studios What If, and more. Find two custom D6 with a special The Watcher icon. Dyson token packs are a great way to enhance your Hero Clicks experience. MSRP for unit, $14.99. Yeah. Uh, real quick thing, though, about that. Looks like no bystanders. Bro. It does say art on both sides, so it could yeah. be. Yeah. They normally say that if there's going to be bystanders, though. I don't know. I don't know yeah. if they always say art on both. I mean, it's technically art on both sides either way. I don't know. <coughs> consider bystanders art, but <clears throat> yeah. Maybe. They, we Hard definitely don't consider any of the animated series bystanders art because it's just black. Um, all right. Marvel Studios, Disney Plus, Original Series, WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, and What If, assemble and in this unfathomable five-figure Heroclix booster release. For the first time ever, the MCU is represented in Heroclix in a full five-figure booster release. There's plenty to look, around, look for, including the series regulars like The Scarlet Witch, Vision, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Loki, and Captain Carter, as well as some of their greatest foes like Agatha Harkness, Ultron Infinity, and more. Players will mechanics like equipment objects of iconic items like captain america's shield the dark hold and the cloak of levitation mission points also return and can enhance mission point teams released in the last few sets i'm gonna keep reading each what boost five figures uh that's, so that's that the the agatha's, evil book that agatha yeah, uses. Agatha's yeah. book what i mean there's a lot that that could do like that could be like a lissa drac kind of thing where it's like <clears throat> prob with stupid range kind of thing give uh mystics ta 
Ooh, ooh, ooh that'd be fun. <laughs> would, would that be would that be quote fun unquote? Uh, anyways, I think uh, booster. I think it would be really hard to break Mystics on like a single figure, but yeah, that's true. That's true. Know. It'll probably be like fifteen points too if it gave out Mystics. It'd be yeah. dumb. Anyways, I'm really excited about this next part. Um, actually, no, we'll, we will take a pause here. We've already sort of done it. So mission points. I want Zombie Captain America to have mission points to make a zombie horde. I, that's I, that's how I want them to do um, infection and food again. If they do infection and food again, that's how I want them to do it with mission points. That would be fun. I want to create hordes and hordes of zombies somehow. I think it's fine. I would like it. I think it would balance out infection and food because that was a huge point of contention for people about how busted infection and food tokens were. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in 2014, there were these sets, Deadpool and Guardians of the Galaxy. The chases were zombies. Look them up. They, they were real good. They might not look good now, but they were real good back then. At least the team base was. Anyways, um, so yeah. Second thing about mission points, I don't want characters. Obviously, when we do mission points, it's there's going to be like five figures in this set that have mission points right like it's it's not going to be a lot um yeah, but i'm still excited five, yeah. to see when it says enhance mission point teams i'm curious what that means instead of just being like oh these figures also have mission points i would love it if there was to run a mission points team <laughs> with multiple figures that actually have synergy if there was like a a watcher that was like ooh, you only need another prob uh, watcher. like some some ridiculous thing where it was just like you only need two thirds <sighs> of the mission points to, that you would normally need. So, like, you need like, ooh, 10, 12, 13, or something like that. Yeah. yeah, something to like win. Something that just like makes it like that much easier to like actually pull it off. I um, want a watcher <clears throat> where, um, he gets a mission point. Nope, never mind. I realized I was about to say every hit attack or something. I'm like, that is already sort of what the other watcher does. Anyways. Um, but yeah, mission points is going to be really, really cool. I, I am always excited. You know me, uh, current mission point champion here. So I'm excited to see uh, <laughs> where it goes. Um, yeah. Each booster contains five figures and select boosters will contain an object. As an extra special bonus, lucky players may find a special boosters with multiple chase figures inside. God packs are back, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking God packs are back. Let's go. If there was going to be a set where I wanted God Packs Special to come back, boosters. it would be this set with Bro. multiple chase figures inside. I want, so, yeah, we, all I need, we all I need don't have world. the full list yet. We don't know hardly any of the set at all. Um, if that Ultron isn't a chase, it's obviously a super rare. Um, right. If that that zombie Captain America isn't a chase. It should be at, le at the very least a super rare. There's definitely going to be a Wanda and Falcon and like the, the main names probably. Chases. Yeah. I assume our and battle Loki, like the final, like his like final form. I assume yeah. of like any character is going to be like the main thing is going to be like a chase or whatever. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep chases. reading now. Can you Are we ready for a little five bit? Five out of the eight. Wouldn't it be gnarly, bro? That'd be awesome. Pretty awesome. That'd be so dope. Uh, it's actually all eight are going to be in there. They're just going to sh just <laughs> shove them, <laughs> jam them into the booster. There's like one, booster no, there's so one cool. booster that's like why is this an extra so three inches long. And you're just like, why is this one <laughs> so much longer than all the other ones? And everyone's like, oh, that one's defective. I didn't want it because it's too long. And yep. then you open it and the pack's just eight figures like wide. Like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, after all that good news, guys, I do got to hit you with just a touch of a touch, maybe more than a touch of bad news. Um, 10 individual boosters per brick MSRP 1699. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, 1699. So, uh, $17, $17 boosters, which means this brick is going to be a hundred and a brick. It's going to be $170 yeah. a year ago. This time I got a case for $180. Now I'm getting a brick for 170. Yeah. Um, the amount yeah. of times I've bought in a brick for about yeah. 80 bucks and now MSRP, at least I'll be buying a brick or uh, for MSRP. As far as this is concerned, I'll be getting half of a brick for about eighty-five dollars. Um, 
when House of X increased the price, I was like, all right, like let's see what it does, blah, blah, blah. And I get this is not hopefully like you know don't hold my feet to the fire on this this hopefully is just because of the disney attachment because they've got a lot of royalties That's to pay I'm out they've got a lot too. of like different likenesses and stuff going on uh there's a lot of fires there a lot of pokers in like the fire pit whatever the saying is uh, chefs in the kitchen. I don't oh, know. I think that's right. I think, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That's, no, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of, yeah, you got it. A lot of mouths to feed you. on this set. They have to, they have to I, pay out you. a lot of different directions. I so do hope this is just, yeah, just for this set. Because, and if it is just for this set, I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll allow it. That's, yeah, this is like the one concession I'll make. If, Seventeen dollars per booster became the norm. I have to think that Hero Clicks becomes stagnant and just like stops because I am going to have a hard time convincing somebody to pay almost twenty bucks for a single booster and like almost like thirty, you know, close to thirty five dollars for two boosters. I'm gonna have a real hard time convincing them to get into the game in like a heavy way. Um, I think that the, yeah, if that were to be the new price point and granted it's only $2 more than the current booster price. And we're having a fine time currently. Um, my advice for this set specifically would be find deals on cases and bricks because the secondary market is probably going to be really high and you're really not going to want to pick up like single boosters because it's going to feel yeah. real bad if you pay, Oh man, if you pay like $85 for five rares and that's like your, that's all your pulls, you know, it's going to feel real bad. Uh, feels bad, man. It's going to, it's, it's going to suck. It is. It yeah. Is, period. Uh, it sucked all right. when, when house of X, I bought five boosters and they were all rares and that, that was, was just a bad cheaper per booster. That was, you know, ten dollars yeah. cheaper than this is gonna be. That was just a bad set. That yeah, the distribution the was prices also on. They, they raised the price and the make and the distribution was bad. But we don't we don't have to talk about Ryzen no. or not excuse me, House of X. Uh release day organized play kits return, starting with Marvel Studios, Disney Plus. Stores and players alike have been eagerly awaiting the return of in store play where state and local ordinance allow. Yeah, uh, stores order release day OP kits directly from distributors. This isn't a play at home kit. This is a release day OP kit. Okay, orders for this product will be verified. Again, blah, 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 blah. you can only order three release day OP kits. Yep, they're not for sale. Blah, 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 blah. Stores are not required to have a volunteer or a judge present to run an event. Oh, that's cool. Store owners may ultimately determine how events in their store will run and how the kits are used to remote in store play. Each OP kit prizes to host. Includes prizes to host release day events with a prize, first for fellowship award, and a flex award to be used at the store's discretion within the context of the WKPPL8. What? Whatever that is. The WizKids Players Player in Handbook. Anyways, suggested format guide is included. Makes it easy to run for stores. Here's what you get. We're going to get three copies of a limited edition Doctor Strange figure and character card from Marvel. St- so it does say from Marvel Studios What If. I'm a little confused about what the yeah. set is going to be called. Simi and I were both Marvel talking about Studios, it earlier. What if it would make more um, sense to call it so because they say release day organized play kits return starting with Marvel Studios Disney Plus, which makes that sound like that's the set name, but then yeah. they constantly refer to and I don't know if they do this because it's a Disney property and so they have to give like credit where credit's due each time, but yes, yeah, because that Doctor Strange, a.k.a. Spider-Man with the Cloak of Levitation, is from the What If series. They have to specify it's from Marvel Studios' What If. But that's not the name of the set, right? Because multiple times they refer to it as like either What If or Marvel Stu- Studios' Disney+. Plus. I don't know. Yeah, we could just one. keep calling it Set 47 at this point, like... Who's going to stop us? And now we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, this is going to be the starter. So experience the events of Marvel Studios. What if like never before seen in this smash hit miniatures game, standalone experience. What if reimagines the MCU in brand new ways leading to unique blah, blah, blah. So we got party Thor, T'Challa, star Lord, captain Carter, zombie, captain America play. There's eight campaign scenarios. It's in their own words. This miniatures game contains everything two people need to play hero clicks, including a, a, a meaty, 
An meaty, egg, some would say. Meaty, yeah, eggy. Uh, multi-session campaign for two players that pivots and turns based on results of the last session. So those are cool. Ten premium quality pre-painted miniatures with two ways to play, just like how we've seen uh, with, of course, the first awesome starter set they made that had this, which is the Avengers Master of Evil. We've been seeing that consistently through the rest of starters. Mm-hmm. 20 character cards, the simple one, the advanced advanced quote-unquote one uh 18 objects special terrain of bystander tokens so that's all kind of the normal stuff the eight campaign scenario cards six double-sided thick map tiles no folds uh they say that like it's a plus like yes okay sure like the folds (laughs) aren't the worst thing in the world but like the map tiles are are bad bro you've got to admit they're bad like come on please admit to yourselves the map tiles suck like they, they do they do suck it's you're shuffling them around trying to get them in the right plate the map yeah, tiles suck. Uh, guys they suck no they do yeah they're lame. you have to make them out of like really thick material if, so that they if don't they were like monopoly board and they could fold out and you would just auto right. it would fold out perfect and they wouldn't suck right. they, they're just okay i'm not gonna say they suck they are inconvenient they I don't think them not having folds is ever going to make me want to play that over a paper map. I will say that like folded maps can be inconvenient sometimes too. It can. There's been That's plenty of times where it's true. Yeah. Where, like, I mean, how many times have we sat down to play a game and we were like, all right, got to grab some tokens or some to weighted weigh stuff down, for like, the, the corner. The map, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, that, that does suck in its own right. I'm, I'm definitely saying, but I'm not, I don't know if it's like the biggest thing. No, I'm folds, just saying but... we need some hero clicks, warlock tiles, Bro, you want this game to be that much more expensive? What are you Speaking on? Speaking of what that much on? more expensive, uh, so the starter does come with one full color HeroClix Core Rulebook 2022 edition. Yes. Uh, but what, isn't even a year. What, what low, low price can I pick up this premium quality pre-painted 10 miniature starter set with all these cards, all these objects? What's the low, low price that I can be looking at for Let's, this? Let's have it, shall I'm we? I'm getting into the game. It's it's my starter getting price. Getting into the it's, game. This isn't starter so the, like, a starter price. A starter set for a lot of games would be like the base game. This is by no means the base game. This is like help you learn. But for the low, low price of the MSRP of $69.99. Mm. Nice. Uh, yeah, you can get this starter <laughs> set. I man, a that's lot. a lot of that's a lot it's of a money lot. for ten it's figures. You're paying ten dollars per figure if you're not including like the maps and blah 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 blah. But let's be honest, let's like we're not gonna pull any punches here. Most of the time, these starter sets are not worth it for people that already know how to play the game. There might be one or two figures that are like crazy good. The Wonder Woman starter set had like a ton of stop clicks, a ton of like interesting stuff, and they are fun. The campaign scenarios are really fun. Uh, if you're teaching people how to play, they're really fun. Man, it is going to be really hard to look like a new player in the face, and they're like, "Well, what should I buy to get started?" And I'm be like, "Oh, well, starter sets are great." And they're like, "Oh, okay, which one?" And I have to look at them in the eyes and say, for $70, you can get the newest one with the most current rules, which will be the 2022 rules when this drops. That's going to, man, I guess Empire will still be around. So Empire will probably hopefully be it's not about, outdated by then. Yeah, it'll probably be about the same rules. Hopefully the same rules because trying to get somebody to drop 70 bucks on a game just but like just to see if they enjoy it it's going to be that's going to be a rough task to take on um, yeah that being said i'll probably get one of these because oh so here's the thing right i'm going to complain about it and whatever else like i'm going to buy one honestly just because that the imagery for the pack is going to be like what if imagery <laughs> honestly like that that is like the biggest pushing for all of it i don't care for the color scheme in empire not was not gonna buy the wonder woman one um like this is just probably the pack i'm gonna end up actually having like this is finally the first time where i'm gonna be like you know what i actually like all like the idea of these figures i like the what if storylines and everything i think with the 10 characters i think we'll probably get every character from what if that's in maybe not actually they're they seem to be making a lot of them in this main set but we're gonna get a good amount of them Plus, Captain Carter's going to be in it. Probably other, you know, Jasmine will want. So, oh, and 
a starter set version of whatever. Um, the Hydra Stomper. Stomper. So yeah, like I'm gonna I'm gonna need that stuff. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna buy it grudgingly. But I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, I agree. Um, and that like that's with the one caveat of if I look at it and like the dials are absolute garbage, then. I might just get like the starter set stuff or not, not the starter set, the main set stuff. The problem with that is a lot of times with these starters, um, like that, that star Lord T'Challa might be like a super rare in the main set. So it might end up being cheaper right. in the long run to get like the sculpts that I want. If I go with the starter, than if I try and track every super rare down, uh, right. it's hard to say. Exactly. So, Overall, Simeon, like, this is it. This is, like, concrete evidence. No more dancing around the idea of what it could be, what it is, what it isn't. This is finally concrete evidence. We're getting, you know, a Marvel Studios set. Here's here's what I'm going to say really quick. If we're getting stupid Crocodile Loki. I don't care how many people like him. I don't care a funny haha meme bite wow. man's hand. If we're getting the stupid Crocodile Loki... And if we don't get Battlestar and John Walker, and when I say John Walker, I mean U.S. agent and Captain America, I'm going to be livid. I will I will be 100% livid. I, I will think, be angry. I think, I think they're guaranteed Kroki had more character development than Battlestar I, did. I, oh, don't Not to mention, uh, Kroki is still like canonically that. alive in MCU. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Don't do Battlestar dirty like that, bro. Battlestar was a boss. He was he was a total bro. Don't be doing Battlestar like that. Oh, Any, anyway, to break the glass ceiling and instead just put a dent in a pillar. Um, <laughs> that was a real stretch. Me getting in my head, getting though. in my car, driving to Omaha to punt Simeon in the nods. <laughs> oh uh, my gosh! I All am. Right. So it is kind of weird though we only have two sculpts we've got a, quite a few what if sculpts we've only got two what sculpts, sculpts from uh, uh falcon winter soldier that and scares then we've me. got well we've already seen the agatha and scarlet witch now yeah. we've got the visions so that's three we've got quite a few what ifs we got another scarlet witch sculpt uh and then we've only got two from loki so yeah I don't know. It'll be interesting I, to see what the split ends up being. I really don't want too much what if stuff. Like the thing that bothers, I like what if I do, but what bothers me is the two different sculpts. So I hope that one of those, like we're not wasting two slots on a normal Peggy Carter, Captain Carter. I hope it's yes. One is a starter. For some reason, the starter has different sculpts that I will be fine with, but I really, I really don't want to waste main set slots. When we only have 56 characters in this set, and we know we're getting multiple visions and Wanda's and potentially like Agatha's probably right for some kind of maybe shifting focus shenanigans and who knows what else. I I really like 56 is a lot of characters. It is. If we don't do any generics, it's probably possible to get every single main standout figure from each show. But I know my heart of hearts Falcon and Winter Soldier was not the best received show of the year. It was my personal favorite, sure. But I think definitely most people liked Loki the most. And then WandaVision probably had more hype around it. Maybe What If had more hype around it. That's a bit, I think What If even yet. Yeah, what If had more hype around it than Captain America, Winter Soldier, Falcon, Winter Soldier. But um, it, it is important to me as a Captain America fan that we get that we get J-dubs. I need a good John Walker uh, I need a, I need a U.S. agent. I need a John Wall. I need all that. I need it so bad. I need you know, yeah. Battlestar to work his due. I'm also we need the flag smashers. All that I'm stuff. A little I just want. We haven't seen like I get like there's some big name villains. We haven't seen any like generics like we were kind of hoping there would be. Yeah, no generics. Like a a couple. Well, not necessarily a couple, but a generic zombie, uh, a generic Ultron drone, um, and then like the flag smashers, like those kind of things that would really, that kind of really makes or breaks a set. In my opinion is if you can fill out the commons with stuff that I am okay with pulling multiples of, uh, because if, yeah, if croaky is like set number zero, zero three, and I end up with four of them, it'll be fine because I can mod them. 
I can like use that for other stuff. But you know what I really can't use for other stuff is like twelve Sam Wilsons. Uh, yeah, I really only need one usually. Right. So yeah, I mean, it seems this is another thing about I don't know the whole process of making a set when a set is in development when they can see what there is right. I'm still going to go off assuming that WizKids knows what they like told companies like Lego and stuff. Because to be fair, in like the Lego series minifigures, we did get a crocodile Loki. It didn't have a little helmet. It was just like a crocodile. But I think it's just because Lego didn't want to make a whole new like piece just for Loki, right? The clock crocodile Loki or whatever. Loki Gator, Loki Dial. I guess its snout is rounded. So it is a... It's oh, it an is alligator. an alligator. Yeah. It's an alligator. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. No, it's just way more fun That's... to call it croaky. Croaky, yeah, it's I like definitely the an alligator. But... Personally, Locodile fan here. I think Locodile wow. makes the most sense. Croaky seems dumb and stupid, and like hipsters would call it wow. that, <laughs> like IPAs or something, and like well, bad you music know no one's ever if heard of. If you actually of. enjoyed the Loki series, maybe you would call it Croaky as well. But since nah, you didn't, lo- I guess Locodile. we'll defer to the one person in studio that liked that series. Oh, who is that? Me. Okay, so we're gonna call wow. Croaky. Call okay. It. All right. All right, Simeon. Fine. You can call you can call Peggy uh Captain Carter all you want. I don't I don't that you can call name. the other things that, that you like. They the they things. call her Captain Carter though. That is her name though. That is her mm. name. Like we do. They do. Okay. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen what yeah. if, so I don't know. But yeah. I'm still mad. Uh be mad. Stay mad. Die mad. Uh, uh die, die mad. Yeah. Back uh, on that five flight. copies. Die mad. Are going to come with the the Ugh. play at home kit. This not the play at home kit, but five copies of the new double sided map. It says a brand new double sided map, so that'll be exciting as well. And then it says right. one addendum slash instruction sheet. What do you think? I've the never addendum instruction yet, sheet. Would be I have for? yet to see the the ever elusive instruction sheet sheet. I assume. Our, our venue judge just sort of like takes it out, looks at it, or nervous throws it away right away or something. I assume it's just like how to hand out. I think yeah. it's got the, the WizKids PPLA uh, for express <laughs> right, the support official, of, of the organizing play at the store. WizKids tournament series. I think that's like what it is. Um, uh, yeah, the sheet so, yeah. of paper I've always seen just says like what came in the box that you just opened. Oh, then, so then there's like that. Three of these figures, five of these maps, and you're like, okay. And it's like one piece of paper that you just read this on. You're like, yes, these are all the things I just unboxed. Thank you. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, but that's what if. I mean, I'm, that's uh, even I'm calling it what if. That is Marvel Studios Disney Plus. I'm excited. Uh, I'm full steam ahead. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic because, like I said, they gotta, they have to do proper justice for each and every Marvel series they are doing. And I'm just I'm just weary that because I mean, WizKids has done this to me in the past. They've made Captain America set with no Captain America above a rare and a terrible like chase theme and way too many masses of evil and too many Avengers and not enough actual Captain America stuff. They made an Earth X set that was half Spider-Man, uh, my least favorite superhero to get in uh, whatever in hero clicks. I'm just saying is WizKids has done me dirty before and I don't want them to do me dirty again. And that's it. So I'm just I'm being cautiously optimistic you know, I've turned on the I've turned on the stove and I've burnt my hand too many times. Uh, so I think we're just gonna microwave it. Our excitement for this set, you know, like that's that's the way I am because the world is out to get me. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm being uh, a little overly dramatic, but that is how that is how it has been for the last couple sets that I was excited for. They have let me down, so I do just want to be cautiously optimistic. And I I also want to say I think unless they're gonna mm-hmm. shuffle sets around. Um, we now have more information, almost more information on this uh, Marvel Studios, uh, Marvel Disney Studios set than we do on War of the Realms. So there's still oh, yeah. two unreleased Marvel sets that are coming out before this. No idea when this is coming out as far as the date goes. Um, like Calder said, like the hype is real on it. That Ultron is like super slick looking. A lot of these characters are super slick looking. Uh, just they really knocked it out of the park with some of the sculpts. If they turn out half as good as the digital renderings, there'll be some really fantastic, crazy good looking stuff. Um, but that being said, who knows when this will actually pop out? 
and uh, hopefully by then um, we'll all be millionaires so we can actually afford to buy it because, man, that price increases. Yes, I mean, I hope your Bitcoin goes up. I, I hope your I hope your Dogecoin and your GameStop stock. I hope that all. I hope that you know to the moon, as they say. Yeah, my my Ethereum um, is going Ethereum. crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. My Bitcoin that I bought back in two thousand two. It's really it hasn't done anything since then. Sadly, I bought twelve million Bitcoin back when it first came out, and I just don't know what to do with it. It's not worth Isn't it. Is it like fifty thousand per Bitcoin right now, though? Isn't <laughs> yes. it like actually like you would be? No, if, yeah, if that were true, I would <laughs> yeah. own the internet and possibly the majority of the world. Uh, no, uh, it's really not. <laughs> So I don't want to say a price increase is right. that crazy. The thing is, if you're going to buy these, if you're going to buy the into the set and like, granted, this is probably like a year from now, it's probably October of 2022. Um, but if you're planning on buying into the set, you're like, man, I really need some of those figures. You need to decide ahead of time if you're going to buy sealed or if you're going to buy singles because mixing and matching, buying some like individual boosters at full MSRP is going to be a real, like, that's the real gamble. And it hurts you be, hard when you yeah, pull that rare. There's going to be a few people that win real big, but the vast majority of people that try and do that are going to lose. That's just how that works. Um, that being said, if you try and get, uh, like, cases, a lot of websites um, will do discounts and on, like, case orders and brick orders and stuff like that. And so that's usually the cheaper way if you're going to go that route. Otherwise, singles is always an option. It's going to be more money up front, but it's going to save you money because you're not buying all that like random junk filler stuff that you didn't want to pull. Uh, yeah, um, just just so everybody knows, um, the set 47 release was originally for March, just so we know. So it's a little closer than we we think it's not a year it's is march well i Good. mean that's it's probably not going to release in march though that's See, like me, their... don't don't do me like that don't be saying things are gonna i've almost well i don't, I don't week, even think I empire really is releasing close. this year is it uh empire is november is it actually gonna be okay so it's, if it so if it allegedly. does release in november really tell me war of realms could release in january, january february it's possible this comes out in March. It's just yeah. knowing knowing the state of things, WizKids usually kicks each set back like one or two months. Yeah, no, I uh, I agree. Now, now, here's one thing though. Check check this. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, we still don't have the Eternal set. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to come out in October. Maybe it comes out next week or something in a week or two. But we we know. Uh, I guess now we know about the same about for Eternals and what it may be slightly more because it's smaller, but either way, no one cares about Eternals, but that set is supposed to come out this month, allegedly. Uh, I came real close last week to uh, canceling my WWE Wave 2 pre-orders, I'm not going to lie. Um, I I almost was just like, it's never going to happen. It's yeah. whatever, and I was, I was going to just like, fine, just get my money back so I can buy more. <laughs> Definitely feels uh, like Hero it's going to happen sometimes. Yeah. So it's it's where we're at. It's where we're at, and also, uh, yeah. Hey, guys, I think that's the episode, Simeon. Uh, we're skipping uh, all the community stuff and everything. This was this was a rushed episode, guys. It, it, it is what it is. So we just wanted to give the news out there, tell you our thoughts. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you somewhat agree with them. If you don't, go ahead. And write us some questions, write us an email, uh, send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. That's at Dial H for Hero Clicks everywhere, uh, except on Twitter. It is a four instead of F-O-R-E spelled out. Um, our email is Dial H for Hero Clicks at gmail.com. Um, we're going to be hopefully doing a secondary episode later this week where we answer all of our listener questions. A lot of those were sent to us through members of the Patreon slash Discord. So if you want to join our Discord server, you can donate to our Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. It's pretty awesome. That gets you things like uh, playing Bad Samaritan with us every Sunday when we have at least three people to play Bad Samaritan. Uh, if you know, listen back two episodes ago, that game I played with Bill and Simeon, 
that was Bad Samaritan. Pretty fun game, and you get to play it every single week. And you can get extra entries into our monthly giveaways. Like this last month, we gave away Cosmic Ghost Rider Thanos and Ultimate Warrior, Wonder Woman Jumpa, and other cool stuff. Uh, you can do so. You can get free entries. Even if you give a dollar a month, you get 10 entries if you win the month uh, of Bad Samaritan for that month. So, like, that's pretty cool. So, it saves you $10. Or, of course, uh, every dollar you donate is an entry into the monthly giveaway. So, like, that's awesome. Uh, but I think the best stuff you get is if you're just really big fans of Simeon and I and the content we make, we make these really cool custom tokens where another Patreon member, Luke Luke, uh, we'll do the editing for the bystanders. So we have like Simeon as Bizarro, me as Green Light for the Lex Luthor bystanders, and then uh, a BCB, Billion Clicks Bruce, soldier for the German soldiers, and then an allied ranch hand for the allied soldier bystanders for Ares, which I think are really dope. And we have all sorts of just exclusive tokens you can only get on our Patreon as well as cool stickers. And the Patreon just really helps us make awesome videos that you guys have been seeing uh, on the Dial Extra Hero Hooks YouTube channel, we're going to have a ton of really cool videos coming up in the next couple months. I'm really excited. We're going to end this year with a bang. Uh, I am pumped for it. But yeah, everybody that donates to the Patreon helps make that stuff possible, helps keep us afloat a, a of the crippling Podbean debt uh, that, of course, racks up for using Podbean. Uh, it's not that bad. But really, we do appreciate everybody's support. And of course, if you don't you know, want to help us out financially, that is okay. The Things we also love is people, you know, telling us why they enjoy the podcast or showing it to their friends. Like some of the best things you can do is like show a friend like one of our YouTube videos or, you know, tell them, hey, listen to the new player episode podcast, like whatever. All that stuff is great. Uh, leaving reviews on like iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, all those places. That is huge. So, yeah, thank you guys just so much. And any way you choose to support us, it's always a pretty big deal for us. Yeah. And if you want pretty big deals, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, so wait for that. If you want pretty big, if you if you want a pretty big deal, just check me out. I'm a pretty big deal. No, if you were listening to this episode and you thought, "Oh boy, how am I going to be able to afford all these amazing figures that are coming out that I really want?" Well, one, no one's forcing you to buy this stuff, so that's keep that in mind for sure. Uh, nobody's holding your feet to the fire, but. If you want a easier way to get these things, all these figures, all these sets, all the cool new stuff, you should check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. If you use code DIAL5, you will get 5% off. And when it comes to singles, after you spend a little bit of cashola at CoolStuffInc.com, you actually get a much higher discount just automatically by having an account that has spent money on their singles. Uh, so sealed products, you'll still want to use code dial five most of the time, but when you're not buying sealed products, when you're buying the singles, uh, your discount will automatically get pretty high. I think it gets up to like 10% quite easily. Maybe it's like 8%. I don't know. One of the percentages that's above five for sure. Uh, and that's at coolstuffinc.com where you can find Definitely. cool stuff in stock every day including the latest hero clicks singles and sealed products so make sure you check them out it's definitely above five uh all right guys thanks for listening and as always happy trails so if you're looking for emotional satisfaction my advice to you is seek professional hero clicks no are you serious again how many people even play this game like the hundred instant deadpan humor oh, how they, six uh, people play? think i am funny the hard day's work not that you know anything about that which absolute fools it's not witcher nonsense i'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever are you kidding me <laughs> hey google back something let's attack him because he's a jerk wow 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 So tonight we learned that eight is above five and Definitely. eggs are meat. Yes, eggs are meat. Okay. Just making sure. It was the eggs are meat.